What's up, guys? If you are into music reaction channels that are honest, raw, and authentic, look no further. You found your destination. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Welcome to our journey. And make sure that you subscribe below and enjoy the show. <laughs> What is good, you sexy son of a god? It's Philly. That's Taz. It's the Taz and Philly show, and we are back with another reaction video. Hey guys, what's good? It is Philly and Taz. We're back. I uh, had a couple days off. Uh, obviously, if you celebrated Easter, happy Easter. There was a holiday. Also, being honest, I wasn't feeling 100% yesterday, so. We are back at it today as everything is ready to go. Um, we are reacting to The Warning, which I'm excited about. have grown fond of this band over the last little while as we have been reacting to them. Uh, it is Crimson Queen. And I won't go into it too much because I know Taz has this, this scoop, but I believe this is a song off of a concept album. And he'll go into the whole thing. Um, that's pretty much what I kind of know about it. But it was a... Uh, it was a, uh, a a subscriber request. Am I not correct about that? Oh, a, a crap load of subscri subscriber requests. Right. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Cause, uh, Fantastic. Yes. The, the, the Warning fans have been awesome. Their knowledge has been great. Um, and you, know, you haven't steered us in the wrong direction, I can tell you that, because Taz and I were not familiar with them prior to this, you know, this channel, and uh, I've quickly found myself listening to them on my off time. But what I have done is stayed away from anything new. I've only listened to so far what we have reacted to. So now that we're going to be reacting to Crimson uh, Crimson Queen tonight, I'll be able to add that one to my list as long as I like it. And I'll be honest about it so far because so far uh, we've liked everything. So, Taz, feel free. Uh, I guess you're not going to shout out the entire subscriber network. but Yeah, that would take all damn day. <laughs> yeah, but we, thank we, you to we all you We keep it guys. real, but <laughs> the love is there. But luckily, three of you sons of bitches, I'm going to actually shout out because <laughs> – I can. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and give you a little little spiel about what we know about the uh, the warning, the album, everything. So, all right, stop talking. Thank you. <laughs> so, anyway, I forget exactly how I worded it in Dust to Dust, but I was basically like, well, I'm glad that this song isn't like part of a story because I don't know if I would have been able to catch on or whatever. I forget how it came up. But anyway, you wonderful fantastics, a.k.a. like T.W.A., had alerted me to the fact that this Dust to Dust is the prologue of an actual concept album from The Warning. Who knew? Didn't know it, wasn't planned. So many of you suggested that it'd be really cool if you guys go through the whole album, which is their second album, uh, Queen of the Murder Scene. So I spoke with Philly and we agreed. So tonight we are reacting to, as you'll see here, Crimson Queen which is technically, I guess, song number one of the concept album. Uh, so this would be exciting. So tonight's shout out, I've chose three of you. We have Briggsy, we have Chip1878, and we have this cool ass name that I love, Instant Pudding Head. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love that. It is pudding without the G. So Instant Pudding Head. Chip1878 and Briggsy, this song <laughs> is for you on top of all the other people that suggested it, but we'll have that damn long to name all of you. So that's just a clump of one love. Thank you all, Fantastics. Um, we really appreciate your support. Um, so keep the support coming. We have a membership down there too. Check it out. Keep the love coming. Check it out. Keep the love coming. Check it out. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's get this going and see what Crimson Queen's all about. You didn't have anything else to say, did you? No, I'm ready to listen to it, but your lips keep flapping. <laughs> Here we go. i 
spark that doesn't stop the conundrum in my heart. I know love shows in mysterious ways. Still, my screaming makes no sound to silence at the roundabout. Yeah, there is no rose without its thorns. Prickled fingers are just part of the ways into the Definitely have a fan there with all that damn clapping. Do you oh want to my s- goodness, God! You go first, yeah. then, Mister Clapmaster. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. It's hard to. I probably gave it away already. I, I absolutely loved it. That was, um, that was a little different than a lot of the other shit we've heard. It was a lot more acoustic guitar, a lot of, um, a lot of emotion in her voice. Uh, a lot of like it was hypnotic. It was tranquil. It was kind of a haunting sound. I don't know. How to, like she was like just belting it out over just like a, a hypnotic type of a melody. Um, Oops, what I don't. Yeah, I, go I, ahead. I, I liked how it like it, it featured, I mean, they all had a part in that obviously, but it really featured her voice along with just that awesome melodic sound. Um, and we haven't listened to a lot of them so far. We've, we've listened to a bunch of music from them, but it, there's still a lot more to get to. And I feel like this is different than everything else we've pretty much listened to, but it was fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, I always go. I put that. I can't. You know, I put it on my gym playlist. 
I don't know if I could work out to this song because of like what it is like that, but I could, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. You might be able to have it on the bicycle, but I can't picture nobody bicep curling to that. Like, no, you'd be like all maybe off during beat. The, the cool down session or while I'm sitting in the sauna. I could, like, I could sauna, tell, sauna, could yes. Out, or, you know? yeah. Right. Warm down. Um, yeah. Cool down. Oh. <laughs> Can you tell I don't go? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Are you done, sir? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> again, again. <laughs> well i loved it i love acoustic guitars i love when things sound i know that wasn't stripped down because that wasn't a cover that was their song but that stripped down vibe like i love if you've been watching our channel long enough like i love stuff that's heavy and hardcore and powerful and stuff but i also love things that are really tender and soft and stuff like that um the words were beautiful. I know everybody in the comments have been educating us and letting us know that um, that they write their own songs. I mean, at that age, yeah, don't come at me. I forget their ages. At that time, I think it was like between, let's say, between like thirteen to sixteen years old. Mm -hmm. So pretty sure that's right. I I don't know if any of them have been in love at that point, but that doesn't necessarily mean you don't know how to write about love. Maybe especially if you've been around love. You know, or but anyway, um, heck, Romeo and Juliet were young as hell when they were in love. So you may not be in love to be able to talk about love for the fact that they wrote their own songs. Um, so I love the words in this. Like one part, it said in the, I guess that was the chorus. Like you, um, you be, blah, you bemuse my soul. So that's like you you make my soul like question, like like what is this, like puzzled or whatever. So. Um, so I take the song as like, uh, they're having these feelings. She's having these feelings about somebody, but she doesn't know what they are. That would make sense for somebody who's 13 to 16. Like if you've never been in love before, but now you're kind of like feeling like, what is this? Like, what's these goosebumps? What is this? Why is my heart palpitating? Like what's going on here? I have these feelings I can't describe. That's where I got from this song. So that would make sense then, since this is like song number one of the concept thing. Uh, but it was beautiful. The first, at the beginning of the song, I'll admit it scared me because her voice sounded a little bit rocky. I don't know. But then she, she, she picked it up and then she kept it strong. I like, I think that's Daniela. I think that's her, Dan, Danny. I'm trying to remember names. I love her more in her upper register. So like her upper register when she was getting to that chorus and she was like wide mouth and belting it out. I just love that 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 grittiness in her voice when she gets in the upper register. Her low register, at least on that song, was a little bit shaky just for me, but not like bad. It's just like, hmm. Um, whereas Pal, I like her lower register, like when I when we reacted to her doing creep, like her little solo. Uh but yeah, but I mean, overall, I really loved it. It was an intimate moment. Like, basically, Daniela had her spot. I like it when groups take time. Certain songs were like, okay, you'll be the spot on this. You know, and then the next song, another band member will have, like, their time to shine. It's, it's not always, like, Daniela's singing. We already know that, because you all educated us, that they all can sing. Um, but yeah, I like when they switched it up. So we didn't know what to expect here. Like, this is first time hearing this song. I didn't know who was going to be the lead singer. We found out. It was a nice, tender, uh, haunting, as Philly said, I love that word, haunting type of song. And it really is cool. Like, if this is going to be the start off of the uh, concept uh, album, then it makes sense. Like, you're starting off, if you're having these feelings, what's going on? So, now I'm excited. Damn you, fantastic. Now I can't wait to do the next damn song to see what these feelings turn into. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> let's vote. What are we waiting for? All right, let's do it. Uh, so for anybody new to the channel, this is Answer Pass. And obviously, if you've been here for a little while, you guys know what we do here. Uh, it's a two rating system. Like I said, so it's thumbs up, thumbs down. If the song sucked, it's ass. We give it thumbs down. If the song was good, we pass it. We give it thumbs up. Uh, I will drum roll. Taz is going to count to three. We'll both rate it together, and we'll move on to the next reaction video. Taz, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Boom. You know you had no doubt. Somebody That's gave it away. That's for the song. And bang, bang, bang from the three subscribers.
uh, that were shouted out tonight. So thank you guys. Thank you to the Fantastics. Thank you to all the um, the warning fans. All right, I guess we're going to be reacting to the next song off this album next. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but whatever the next one is, that's the one we're going to be doing. You're going to laugh. It's actually uh, one of the words that I say a lot, oh. which I say a lot, so you'll probably never guess. Do you want me to tell you or do you want to guess? Go ahead. One of the things I say a lot with you is, ugh. The song's called Ugg? <laughs> it's called Ugg. <laughs> Maybe it's written about you, you know? Is it possible? Yeah. It's possible. <laughs> so I laugh when I saw it because I saw the list of the songs. I don't, you know, we don't listen to them, but I saw the list of these album songs. And that one stuck out because I say that a lot when Philly's mouth just has verbal diarrhea. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ugh. Yeah. So, <laughs> kind of like what see, you're the, doing right the, now? the warning felt it. Yes. <laughs> All right, are you close, done with your verbal Yes, diary? Close, close this out. All right, well, thank you guys so much for being here. You know, you heard me say it in the past. You could be anywhere you'd want to be, but you're here, and that asshole is going to be heading back to his planet. So thank you so much for spending 16 minutes with Taz and I as we reacted to this. And until next time, we will be We'll be back soon with another Ugh. reaction video. I am Philly. That is Taz. It's the Taz and Philly Show. Peace. And take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>